सब्सक्राइब करें तेजेंद्र इंग्लिश स्कूल चैनल को और उस बेल आइकन को दबाएं हमारे लेटेस्ट वीडियो लेक्चर सबसे पहले पाने के लिए हेलो एवरीवन आई एम वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन दिस इज योर ईवीएस टीचर हियर एंड दिस टाइम आई एम हियर विद द सेकंड चैप्टर ऑफ ग्रेट फिफ्थ एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज दैट इज अ स्नेक चार्मर्स स्टोरी सो लेट्स स्टार्ट students before going through the chapter it is necessary for all of you to understand that what is the meaning of snake charmer students a snake charmer is a person who entertain people by controlling the behavior of a snake a snake charmer charms or appears to charm snakes by playing music and by rhythmic body movements as you see here this is the instrument that is used by the snake charmers to charm the snake that basically known as a bean students i hope you all have seen snake charmers in many movies and even tv serials too and have you ever wondered how these people can control the snakes and how they makes the snakes to dance do snakes hear the music of bean don't they scared to touch the snake the students you all will get answers of all of your questions from the story of arena arena is a young boy of your age and he is also a snake charmer and he is going to tell you his story arena says i can do something special which i am sure none of you can do or do you know what i can play the bean you must be surprised by playing the bean i have learned this art from my family members we peoples are known as kalbelias students so what do you think of arnab is he familiar to you or have you met someone like him for the first time well he is a snake charmer he is very famous for playing his bean and making this snake dance like he said that he learned this art from his father and grandfather this suggest that what he is doing is his family occupations and the people of the community as kalbelias students kalbelias are those peoples who makes the snakes to dance on the charms of a bean further arnaat says that my grandfather roshan nath ji was famous among us our people he could easily catch many poisonous snake he tells me many stories about his past come listen to his story in his own words students now arena said that his grandfather roshan nath ji was very famous among his community and why he was famous among his community because roshan nath ji could easily catch many poisonous snake and he often told arena many stories about his past now students arena inviting all of you to come listen to his grandfather's story in his grandfather's word dada ji remembers from the time of my grandfather and great grandfather we have always been saperas snake charmers snakes have been an important part of our life we used to move from village to village carrying our snakes in bamboo baskets students like arena said before that his family is engaged in the sapera who were also known as snake charmers occupation they are very hard working people to entertain new people they have to move from different locations as you have seen them you can notice that they carry their snakes in a bamboo baskets further arena grandfather said that whenever we stop in a village a crowd would gather around us we would then take out our snakes from our basket even after the show people would stay on they knew that in our tin box 
there were many types of medicines for them. We made these medicines from plants collected from the forests. I had learned all this from my grandfather. I felt nice that I could help people with my medicines even if doctors and hospitals were far off. In return, people would give us some money or food grains. In this way, we could manage our life. Now, Arenath's grandfather said that their outfit and their baskets are very famous. As soon as people see them, they gather around them. Then they play their bean and make their snake dance. After amusing the crowd, the crowd gives them money or food grains. Some stay as they know that the saperas can cure illness of medicines of forest. He credit his grandfather for the knowledge he has got and how in this way they manage their life. Father Arena said that Arena was called to help those people who have been bitten by a snake. People trust in his abilities. He is so experienced with this that he can understand which snake bit the person just by looking at the bark. Then he would give the proper medicines for that. Further, Arena said that after all catching a snake was something I had been doing since my childhood. Oh, those were the good days. We could help a lot of people in many ways. We also entertained them. It was not like today when everyone watches TV for entertainment. When I grew older, my father taught me how to remove their poisonous teeth fangs. He also taught me how to close the tube of poisons in the snake's mouth. Further, Arena said that he was catching a snake from since his childhood. And he missed his old days when there were no TVs and people would love to see him entertain them. Now everyone is busy watching TV. He further said that when he was a child and when he grew up, his father taught him how to remove the poisonous teeth of a snake that's basically known as fangs. And he also taught him how to close the tube of poison in the snake's mouth. Students, as you can see here, here are some questions. You have to write down the answers of these questions in your textbook. The first question is, have you ever seen anyone playing a bean? Well, in this question, you have to answer if you ever seen anyone playing a bean, then you have to write down yes. And you also have to mention the place where you saw the person. If you never seen anyone playing a bean, then you have to just write down no. Next question. Have you ever seen a snake where? Well, students, if you ever seen a snake you have to write down yes and you also have to mention the place where you saw the snake. Now the third question is, were you scared by it? Why? Now in this question, the students, you have to answer if you ever seen a snake and if you scared by it, then you have to write down here why you were scared by the snake. Next question, do you think all snakes are poisonous? Students, you have to write down here, no, I don't think so. Because there are different kind of snakes are found in India. Some of them are poisonous, whereas some of them are non-poisonous. Next, in chapter number one, you read that snakes don't have ears, which you can see. Can this snake hear the bean or does it dance when the bean moves? What do you think? Students, as in your chapter number one, you already learned that snakes don't have any external ears. They just feel the vibration of the ground and by the vibration, they react. So, so the question is, if snakes don't have any air, then how they hear the bean or how they react when the snake charmer move its bean. Students, 
स्नेक्स कैन नॉट हेयर द बीन दे डांस वेन द बीन मूव नाउ मूविंग ऑन टूवर्ड्स द नेक्स्ट लाइव स्टूडेंट्स नाउ मूविंग ऑन टूवर्ड्स द स्टोरी आर्य नाथ योर फादर यूज टू ट्रेवल विद मी एवर सिंस ही वॉज अ यंग चाइल्ड he learned to play the bean without being taught these days it is difficult now the government has made a law that no one can catch wild animals and keep them some people kill the animals and sell their skins at high prices so they made a law against this now with this law how will we earn our livelihood we people have never killed snakes and so there is skin people say that we keep the snakes in bad conditions students now here arenath's grandfather told to arenath that arenath's father used to travel with arenath's grandfather since his father was a child and his father learned to play the bean by himself his grandfather never taught his father how to play the bean further his grandfather said that nowadays it is become very difficult for them to perform the shows because the now the government has made many laws by which no one can catch wild animals and keep them because some bad people kill the animals illegally and sell their skin at high prices that's why to stop the illegal killing of wild animals government has made many laws now arenath's grandfather is very disappointed because as he said that now government has banned the catching and keeping of snakes further his grandfather told him that they never killed any snake and sold their skin but due to the deeds of some bad people they also have to suffer many people used to blame them that they keep snakes in bad conditions if we wanted we too could have earned a lot of money by killing snakes but we would never do that snakes are our treasures that we pass on from one generation to another we even gift snakes to our daughters when they get married in our kalbeliya dance we also have movement similar to the dance of the snake arenath you will have to make a different life for yourself you have got your father's gift of playing the bean you and your cousins can form a bean party and entertain people but do not waste this knowledge about snakes you have got from your elders students now his grandfather told him that if they wanted they too could have earned a lot of money by killing and selling the skin of the snakes but they never wanted to do so because they treat the snakes as their treasure that they pass on their future generations and even they gift the snakes to their daughters at the time of their marriage he also said that they do kalbeliya dance students now the question is what is kalbeliya dance what type of dance it is a student it is a type of dance in which movements are similar to that of the snakes dance which you commonly known as nagin dance now arenas grandfather told him that now after so many laws his life is changed now he and his cousins can entertain people not by snake shows in fact instead of that they can form a bean party and entertain people by playing bean tumba khanjri and dhol here the four musical instrument which i mentioned here except dhol 
out of the four, the three instruments that is bean, tumba, kanjari are made from the dried gourd or long key. Students, these instruments I will show you in the next slide. And lastly, he elucidate him that he shouldn't waste his knowledge about his snakes that he got from his elders. Students, these are the musical instruments that I mentioned in earlier slides. The first one, as you can see here, is a bean. The second one is tumba. Students, this is a modern instrument or it is in modified, modern modified form of tumba. That time the same was made from the dry gourd. Third one is tholak and the fourth one is khanjari. Students, now here Arenath's Dadaji told Arenath to share his knowledge of snakes. Knowledge about snakes with children who live in town and cities tell them that they shouldn't be scared of snakes, help them to recognize poisonous snakes, tell them how snakes are friends of the farmers, they eat the rats in the field, otherwise rats would eat the crops. Now you tell our story, also make a new story of your life to tell your grandchildren. Students, after the government banning the keeping of his snakes, Aranath says that he wants to pass on the precious knowledge about snakes that he learned from his elders to you. He wants you to learn between poisonous and non-poisonous snake and help in stopping the killing of his snakes as they maintain balance in nature by eating rats and mice in farms and save the crops. Now, student, as you can see here, this is the Kalbelia dance form that basically these snake charmer people performs to entertain people. Students, now here are some questions for you. And again, you have to write down the answer of these questions only in your NCRT textbook. The first question is, have you ever seen animals being used for entertainment of people? For example, in a circus, on the road or in a park. When and where did you see this? Students, if you ever seen animals used for entertainment anywhere, like in a circus, on the road or in a park, if you ever seen, then you have to write down yes and you have to mention the time and the place when and where did you say this students i am giving you answer also you can add more on this i am giving you answer just for your suggestion or as a hint yes many animals are being used for entertainment of people i saw them at circus parks and on the road sides i hope you got it next which animal show did you see? I am repeating here again that I am just giving you a suggestion or a hint. You can modify your answer or you can add more on it. I saw a snake dancing to the snake charmer bean on a roadside. Next question is how did people behave with the animals in the show? People behaved warmly with animals at the show. Listen your answer again. People behaved warmly with animals at the show. Next question. Was anyone teasing the animals? How? Yes, some of them were calling out the animals towards them at the zoo. Listen again. Yes, some of them were calling out the animals towards them at the zoo. Next, what kind of questions came to your mind after seeing that animal show? Students, here I am giving the questions according to my mind. You can change it and write according to your own. Few questions 
erased in my mind after seeing the animal show such as is the animal trained well enough how carefully are they handled how did they capture the animals from the forest is it so necessary to give stress for the animals to entertain people students listen again is the animal trained well enough how carefully are they handled how did they capture the animals from the forest is it so necessary to give a stress for the animals to entertain people now moving on towards the next slide yes, students now in this section you have to complete the following sentences by imagining yourself that you are an animal and you are kept in a cage means you have to think about the animal that we kept in a cage how they feel how they react everything yes, students again i am here completing the sentences and giving you just as a hint you can modify this answer or you can completely change it and write in your own word also i am afraid when my trainer beats me if i do anything wrong this answer is according to me you can change it next i wish i was left free from this cage i am sad when i am locked up in the cage for long hours if i had a chance i would escape from these people and go back to the forest i do not like it at all when people tease or irritate me now moving on towards the next line yes, students do you know that there are different kind of snakes found in our country but there are only four kind of snakes that are very poisonous or very dangerous for us they are as you can see here number 1 cobra that is very poisonous in nature next one common karet here here next one russell viper it is also known as boya and the fourth one is saw scaled viper and it is also known as a fire the students a snake has two hollow teeth that is also known as fangs when a snake bite the poison enters the person's body through the fangs and there is a medicine also available in all government hospitals for snake bites and that medicine is made from the snake poisons students these are the fangs that are mentioned in the earlier slides these are the fangs of the snakes through which the snake bites the person and through it the poison enters the person's body yes, students now here is another question that is like snake charmers which other people depend on animals for their livelihood yes, students in this questions you have to write down the other professions in which animals used by people for their livelihood i am giving you answer here again i am telling you that it just a suggestion or as a hint for you you can completely change the answer by writing in your own words now listen your answer like snake charmers fisherman poultry farmer milkman tonga wala etc depend on animals for their livelihood students now here is a survey that you have to do in this you have to talk to some people in your neighborhood who keep one or more animals for their livelihood for example horse a tonga hens for eggs and then after doing this survey you have to answer given questions here as you can see here the question is name the animal they keep after talk to your neighborhood you have to write down the name of the animal that they keep next you have to write down how many animals your neighborhood keep 
is there a separate place for the animals is means your neighbor kept the animals in a separate place or not you have to write down here next question who looks after them in this you have to write down the answer that your neighborhood looks after the animals by their self or they appointed some special persons for them what do the animals eat what kind of animals they kept and what kind of food your neighborhood animal eat you have to write down here do the animals ever fall ill what does the keeper do then you have to ask your neighbor that their animals ever fall ill if yes then what does your neighbor do then make some more questions and discuss like in the same way you can ask more questions to your neighbor and lastly after asking all these questions you have to make a report as a project and then whenever your school will reopen i will collect it from you hey students now here is a funny activity that you have to do in your home you have to take an old pair of socks and put one of your arms in this socks as you can see here in this way you have to put one of your arms then you have to stick button or bindis whatever available at your home for the eyes then cut out a long red strip of paper for using as the tongue and stick it in the place as shown in this figure now as you can see here on the other side of the paper you have to make a v shape cut and after this your snake is completely ready now moving on towards the last slide student it is the last part of your chapter number 2 the snake charmer's story now here is a question that what you have learned in overall your chapter or what you understand from this chapter the question is the government has made a law that no one can catch and keep snakes the student as i already said earlier in this chapter the government has made many laws to avoid the illegal killing of wild animals so what do you think about this law if you are in support this law then you have to write i support this law if you don't think that this is right then you have to write down i don't support this law but here i am supporting this law that's why i am giving here the answer in favor of it as i said earlier also that this answer is just a suggestion or as a hint you can change it completely or modify it by giving answer in your own words so listen here i support this law a student since many animals are made captive by killing its freedom so no human has any right to take one's freedom to earn a livelihood out of grabbing animals freedom is completely wrong so i completely support this law of not catching and keeping the animals captive 